like uh, both martial arts um, and golf ha have a lot in common because you're using your whole body to uh, execute something. There's a lot of like rotational similarities, a lot of like weight, like transfer similarities. Mm -hmm. There's always one stance for both striking and golf. You don't normally change your stance when you fight. You can, but it's not like you're like 95% in your like standard, whether it's like your orthodox or your southpaw stance. And in golf, same way, like you're always swinging on one side. So you develop muscles and movements that are pretty similar to each other. Do you think us boxing today can help me hit it further? I think so. I feel like you punch hard because you golf. You know, you didn't box for too long, right? Yeah, but like, you have like power in your hands, so I feel like golf helped you box. But now boxing can help you golf. Right. Okay. Yeah. They'll help each other. <laughs> Alright, so uh, we're gonna start off with doing a uh, one two, which is a jab cross. Uh, so you're gonna keep your hands up, uh, you're gonna throw a jab. And try to like rotate your hips a little bit, uh, like in, in your golf backswing, you know how like you rotate your hips a little bit? Same idea. Rotate your hips a little bit so that when you go back to the cross, you can unwind and really throw that power. Yeah. So again, jab, and then cross. Yep. And then just like in golf, like you kind of want to like lead with your lower body first. Try not to like move it together or have your hands go forward first. From oh. here, uh, you want to lead and like load up to your... Uh, so load up with your legs. So you're not first. even using your like shoulder, right? You're using your body. Yeah, and you that's are. That's like where the power is. Yeah, you're turning your um, you're turning your hips first, and then as your arm goes out, like you're turning your shoulders too. Yeah. So you want to use both your hips and shoulders, and you want to feel like you're getting a very strong um, grip on the floor too, so you can like push off the ground. So from here, there you go, jab, and then plus. Jab, and then cross. And then I'd say like throw like, like five punches, uh, five of those, uh, and really focus on your body and like throwing it hard. Uh, you don't have to go fast right now. I'd say go slower and like, throw, throw like harder punches. Yeah. Yep. And then one thing is uh, really jab. try that at home too. You don't need a partner for this one. But for this next one, you might want to find a friend or a family member to help you. Get some friction in there. Alright, so this time we're going to go in brutal speed. Uh, Kat's going to throw one twos, keeping that in mind. Ready? Go! <laughs> yeah, I actually did feel like that in my lower body. Yeah. Like it, I really used it. Oh yeah, for sure. It's like the same like turning motion as golf, right? Yeah. And like even like your, um, you even lift your back heel up like this. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, are you supposed to? Yeah, you're supposed oh, to. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, but like I think in golf, like you're like more on your toes. Yeah. But like in martial arts, or like when you punch, you're like more on like the ball of your foot. Oh, that you makes sense. Saying? Yeah. <laughs> Like, you know, like when, you, like, little, like, when you, like, play, like, cuts and draws, uh -huh. like, you kind of have to, like, re-angle your body oh, okay. uh, and your hips. I feel like that's the same thing with, like, uppercuts and hooks. Oh. It's like, like, the jab, the jab cross is more like a, a standard, like, uh -huh. straight shot. Right. <laughs> Whereas, like, a hook uppercut, like, you're kind of moving your shoulders and hips a little bit. Uh -huh. Like, little subtle movements with the hips and shoulders. Um, I think those are pretty similar to, like, playing draws and cuts. Yeah. So uh, for the uppercut, you're gonna kind of like, just for like power purpose, not just like, not speed purpose, but for like maximizing your like power, um, you wanna like load up to your legs before you even throw the punch. So like you're loading and then you're gonna go down and you're gonna push off the ground, your shoulder's gonna dive low and then you're gonna, you're gonna push off the ground and throw that punch. And you still wanna like turn your shoulders a little bit too. Yeah, so you're here, you're loading, and releasing. 
loading. The groups. Yeah. I feel like I'm doing golfing. Yeah, right? <laughs> like, I feel like it's I'm It's pretty similar. Yeah, it's like, um, I feel like when you do like, um, when you're like working out in the gym, like um, there's, there's a lot of like similarities in terms of like what you work out on for both golf and martial arts. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like I did similar. Cause you played golf too. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Let's do the uppercut with the other hand. Okay. So you're gonna load more on your left leg this time. Yep, and then you're gonna turn your uh, shoulders a little bit, and then you're gonna push off the ground the same way right here. It just feels a little more unnatural. Yeah, the lead punches like, are. That's it's not like my power. Yeah, really? exactly. Right. The lead punches are harder to do, just because, like, yeah, it's not, it's not natural. It's not, it's not really. Uh, you gotta really work on this one. Uh, so for this one, you're gonna load to your left side. And then you're gonna push off the ground. You're gonna neutralize your uh, weight distribution, and then you're gonna throw that punch. Yeah. So don't stay in your uh, lead side. Um, kind of like go back. Yeah. Not not so noticeably. <laughs> a little bit more subtly. Okay. Like right here. And you're pushing off. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Now we're gonna do a hook punch. For this one, you're gonna. Open up your shoulders as you turn your hips. So they're moving towards different directions, right? So open up your shoulders as you turn your hips, and then you're gonna unwind your punch. Open this way? Yeah, so you're opening up. Oh, you're not opening this way? Or? So you're opening, um, I guess they're both opening. Um, to the opposite side. Yeah, your shoulders and your hips wanna move uh, in contrast to each other. Okay. So if your shoulders are turning to your right, your hips are going to turn to your left initially, uh -huh. but like as you start punching, your hips are going to continue rotating as your shoulders like recoil back. Yep, and then let's, let's go for the head. Yeah. Yep. Punch. Nice. Yep, again. There we go. Nice. Yeah, nice, nice. Nice. And then we'll do the lead hook. This one's a little harder as well. You're gonna shift your weight to your front leg, and then as you punch, you're gonna pull everything back. Yep, and then you're gonna lift your front heel, and you're gonna rotate your hips. Yep, there we go. Yep, so initially uh, shift your weight to the front when you coil your uh, body. So go, go more uh, here. Now turn your shoulders, yeah. And then from here, you're gonna pull everything back and punch. Yeah, I feel like this will help more on the back side. Like a lead hook is more like back swing related. Uh, because when you throw your lead hook, you're shifting your weight back. Uh -huh. And then you're not just gonna stay there. You're probably gonna like, you're probably gonna wanna counter back or like follow it up with other combos. So like, let's say you go for like a hook cross. After you come back, you're gonna come straight back forward. Oh. And that's kind of like a golf swing where you like take a back swing and then come yeah. forward. Yeah. That lead hook is hard to get. Yeah. And once you get it, you're like, mm, you know, people know you're pretty decent. <laughs> nice. What? It's like, yeah. <laughs> so I think uh, like a lead hook and then a follow-up cross is gonna help with your uh, weight distribution and your golf swing. So do you think that we should be on the inside? Uh, like when we go, like, come back from the hook? Or should it be on the outside? Oh yeah, that's a good point. That's a great point actually. So yeah, when you throw your hook, you want to keep your, your weight like inside your foot. Uh, like like here. Just like in golf, like you don't want to like go Roll to your, yeah, you don't want to do this. Because uh -huh. it's hard to come back. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you want you want to like keep that like pressure inward so that it's easier to come back forward. Okay. That's a great point. Cool. <laughs> Good. I like that one. Yeah. 
Oh, I think uh, two kicks are going to help with golf. Roundhouse kick and turning back kick. Okay. So, do you guys, do you know what that is? So the roundhouse kick is when you, uh, I'll show it. Okay. So I'm right here, pivot. Okay. That's a roundhouse kick. Uh -huh. And the turning back kick, that was this. I feel like that works with the glutes. Yeah, like a lot of glutes. Butt. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, like Tiger, <laughs> like he has a big butt. <laughs> oh. Right. Do you, does he do a lot of kicks? Yeah, like Roy. No, they don't do a lot of <laughs> kicks. Maybe they do. Maybe that's like their like secret yeah. practice. Maybe I don't know. But um, yeah, they do a lot of squats. Oh. Right? Okay. Um, they like to develop their like. Hips. Yeah, like their quads and uh, like their glutes. Yeah. Um, and I feel like. Kicking is like all of that. So for the roundhouse kick, you're gonna start off with pivoting your front foot, which basically means to like open up your toes. Okay, that's gonna open up your hips uh, to like allow you to actually swing all the way through. Okay, so uh, when you start off your kick, you're gonna keep your legs bent. Okay, this is called chambering. And then as you hit your target, you're gonna extend your leg and you're gonna follow all the way through. Okay, so there's different variations of a roundhouse kick, but this one's like a more like a power roundhouse kick. So we're just gonna go like a 360. Yep. So from here, we're gonna pivot, and then launch and fire. So you wanna keep your legs swinging until it like meets the ground. Uh, I mean like, normally there's gonna be a, another body here, right? So you're not gonna be able to swing all the way around. Oh. But the idea is to not like hit your target, but hit through your target. Oh. So you're not like hitting the golf ball and finishing, right? right. You're like swinging through the ball. Oh. So like, same idea. Okay. So it's like this, mm -hmm. and then... Yeah, so like... Oh. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's so good. Alright. So when you kick this, uh -huh. I feel like you're going to kick through me. Okay. And then after you kick right here, pull back. I'll pull back. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Ready? Yep. Nice. There you go. Nice. Yep. Yep. It's gonna help you get more explosive. Mm -hmm. um, it's gonna help you like really maximize your lower body's potential to like really throw all that power into it. Cause I'm not like that strong, uh -huh. right? Like, physically, I'm not that strong. Uh -huh. but, like I could kick really hard. Okay. Uh, because you're using your lower body. Yeah. And, and I feel you, like... you have like explosive muscles, maybe. Yeah, exactly. Uh, like... So can you hit it far then? I think so. I hit it pretty far. Uh -huh. <laughs> Kicking like really helps with like right here, the core. Oh, okay. um, in terms of like flexibility and like power as well. You don't have to be super flexible, right? But if you kick a lot, you develop like the flexibility needed to like kick hard. Uh, and I feel like that's gonna help with golf too. Like I'm not that flexible. People think I'm super flexible when they see me kick, but like I'm not that flexible. So the next kick is a turning back kick. When you rotate, and then you throw a side kick. Basically a side kick, you just chamber up, and then you kick sideways here. That's a turning back kick. Um, turning back kick is probably like the strongest kick in martial arts, like strongest practical kick. Like there's like 540s and all that, like 1080s and all those jump spin kicks, but in terms of like practic practicality wise, uh, turning back kick is probably like the strongest kick in martial arts. How come? Uh, because you use more elements of your body. Um, if you if you do like a jump spin kick, uh, you're adding a, a jump, and then you're adding like like spinning movement is like torque. Right? Torque. Yeah, you're like adding torque. Torque. <laughs> <laughs> so like anytime like you rotate and you strike, you're gonna develop a lot more force. Physics, right? Four, four sequels, mass times acceleration. Okay. Then, yeah. Like, yeah, I didn't take remember that one. Biology, what is it? Physics. Physics. Biology. <laughs> Same thing. They're both science, right? Uh. <laughs>
Okay, right. I didn't go to UCLA like you. Okay. All right. So for the turning back kick, um, I actually think the your uh, opposite leg is gonna help with your golf swing more. Okay. Um, so like if you're if you're right-handed or right-legged. <laughs> right-legged. <laughs> does anyone say that? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right-legged. Um, you're gonna kick with your left leg, and that's because you're gonna turn into your dominant golf side. Okay. So you're gonna put your left leg back, you're gonna turn right here, and then your left leg is gonna come and kick. Okay. <laughs> you look like a ballerina. <laughs> Wait, did it do Close, close. Okay. okay we'll clean we'll the details right now. Um, so let's say, like, yeah, let's put your, uh, yeah, so from here you're gonna rotate. You're gonna look over your shoulder here first. Here, I'm gonna lift your back leg up. You can hold it. Back leg? Uh, your knee oh, back leg. Okay. Your chamber. Keep your toes in. Yeah. And you're gonna kick out. You wanna be looking over your shoulder. So you're turning. And you see how my uh, uh -huh. front front foot's up? Mm -hmm. As you kick, you're gonna you're gonna shift your weight forward. Oh. You're gonna reground your foot. Yes. Yes. And because you're kicking with the sole of your foot, you want to point your toes in. Oh. If you kick with your toes, you might break your right, toes. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Over. Exactly. That was better. Yeah, keep your toes moving. Right. There we go, better. I feel like the turning back is going to help because like you're setting up your body, uh -huh. it's rotated, right? You see how my front foot is up, my front heel's up? As I kick, I'm gonna shift my weight forward uh, by re-grounding my foot, okay? So I'm here, I re-ground and I kick. Uh, that's gonna allow me to kind of like jumping into the, the throw. Uh -huh. You see what I'm saying? Right. Like even in golf, like you're not you're not like here, you're not like it's rotating. It's like a happy Gilmore. Yeah, like even, but like even in your golf swing, you don't wanna just like stay on your right leg. Oh, you, like, you want to shift, shift your weight back to your left, okay. right? Yeah. Okay. Full golf Oh. Oh, no, that's cool. Let me try it. You guys should try that. <laughs> getting a little low there. Yeah. Save those for the streets. Okay, one more time. stretches you can do that's going to help with both your golf and martial arts. Uh, the first one is called trunk twist. Okay. You're basically just going to like put your arms up and just like rotate your upper body. You want to try keeping your lower body still though so that you can get most of the stretch inside your upper body. Okay, yeah, this is, this well, is core. Look at my back. Yeah, it's like all back. Like upper. It's like side, side, back and front. It's like everything. This one's nice. Another one is a side leg stretch. So you're basically straightening one leg and then you're bending the other one down. Yep. You're gonna feel it in your uh, inside hips and your hamstrings. Right. And you're gonna go to the other side. Say like hold it for like five seconds and then uh, switch to the other side. And then feel like that weight distribution too. It's gonna help with your balancing. Another exercise that's gonna help is the Russian twist. So you're gonna cross your ankles, and get a grip with your hands, and you're gonna start rotating. All right, so today we went over uh, a few punches and some kicks and some exercises that's gonna help with uh, mobility. So yeah, I feel like... Especially with the... The cross. Yeah, yeah, Not yeah. The, the 
cross, right? Yeah, the cross. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. It was, I think it was the, the turn back kick yeah. and then the cross. That was like a really good. Yeah, yeah. The turning back kick cross combo or the the lead hook cross combo. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like those are pretty like similar to a golf swing. Yeah. Uh, in terms of like like how everything works. A little bit of different angling, mm -hmm. but uh, core part is like pretty similar. Mm, yeah. Well, David, you have a gym, right? I do, yes. What is it called? It's called Uringun. It's Korean. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I but, didn't uh, think it was going to pronounce like that. I thought it was yeah, Uringun. Yeah. We're, <laughs> yeah, yeah. In Korean, it's pronounced Uringun. Oh, wow. That but was uh, cool. a lot of like our American students just say like Uringun. Mm -hmm. uh, it's spelled M O O R I N G O O N G. We'll link it in the description box below. Definitely go check them out. They're super great. And I will link David's Instagram. Do you have a YouTube account? I do, but it's not too active. Okay, well, we'll link his social media accounts down in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. We'll see you next time. Bye! We're going to be late. I get the wine and the corkscrew. You don't have to do video. a single thing. You don't know how much I want you. Just looking at you makes my whole world.